Welcome back. It's been much cooler today. Starting to see a little bit extra sunshine coming in for the end of the evening, but still on the hazy side. We are at 66 degrees in Minot. Straight up sunny in Williston. Didn't get any rain there, unfortunately. 74 degrees, 66 in Bismarck with a few light spotty showers here and there across South Central North Dakota and the Queen City of Dickinson, 68 degrees right now. And you can see some of those returns of the showers on First Warren Sky Track or Doppler radar. We're going to remain dry across North Central North Dakota, but if you're heading down to, let's say, Bismarck or into the Red River Valley, there is the potential for uh, maybe a couple of light scattered showers. Overall, relatively dry conditions expected for much of the region, but South Central still a little bit of extra moisture and instability into the James and Red River Valley. But luckily, not expecting any severe weather. If you're heading west or southwest, the weather is looking great. However, the same can't be said across the south once again, where we've got severe weather even into the rock severe thunderstorm watching effect just to the east of Denver until nine o'clock mountain time this evening. Notice those stronger to severe thunderstorms quickly developing and reintensifying as they push to the east across the south again. Unfortunately, in the Gulf Coast states, severe weather expected for much of Mississippi and Alabama. Severe thunderstorm watch until midnight and look at what happened in the past couple of hours. First, there was nothing. Look at those um, severe thunderstorms exploding. So once again, hail and pretty strong and damaging wind going to be likely across the Gulf Coast states. Nothing like that at home. We're at 66 degrees right now. A few 70s still being reported, but feeling great nonetheless. We will be a few degrees warmer tomorrow, but closer to normal. Temperatures looking good. Wind out of the northwest at 7 miles per hour. Rain chance remaining to the south and east. Remaining dry across much of northern and western North Dakota. Saturday morning, uh, waking up to temperatures in the 50s, so that's going to be looking good. Maybe a few 40s across far southwestern North Dakota into Bowman, Marmoth, and even into Baker, Montana. Saturday afternoon, cooler still, but we're going to have mostly 70s and a mostly sunny sky. Maybe a couple of 80s as you get closer to Williston, but still low 80s to talk about. So looking pretty good for the capital city in Dickinson if you're heading south. If you're staying north, oh, mid to upper 70s and even a few low 80s possible, especially across northwestern North Dakota. Now notice as we go into the start of next work week, there will be the potential for some upper 80s and low 90s for your uh, Juneteenth Monday as well as your Tuesday. But a cold front pushes through on Tuesday, cooling us back down for a few days by the middle of next week with a few chances for showers and storms. But the big picture for now, your Father's Day weekend is looking spectacular for weather.